What's up, guys? I'm Shane. Welcome back to our North Texas Dynasty. We are playing a team that the game has decided is the cupcake in East Carolina this week. We are ranked number 20. We were 23 last week, didn't play, we had a bye week, and now all of a sudden we're number 20. We had upgrades to our defensive and offensive coordinators. It's, trust me, it's not interesting or I would have shown you. Now I noticed one thing though, I was looking at championship contenders. Now we don't go up, we're still 74, 59, 38, we're 20 right now. But if you go up, Fresno State in 2016 is gonna be number one. So I thought Buffalo was the team who was broken with their freshmen. No, Fresno has half their offensive line, two wide receivers, a quarterback, a running back, half their defensive line. Like they're gonna be 99s all across the board by 2016. It's gonna be scary. And then 2017, they go down to number 90. And we're still leading the Heisman watch. Now nah, we're a one game in, it's fine. Now on the recruiting side, we did lose ground on some of these higher end players, but not the ones who I was thinking. So Russ Simpson, Alabama popped on the board last week. That scared me, but they I think they just wanted to put him on and try to get an insta commit. We have the lead. Second place is Ball State of all teams. I, I don't know how long we're going to hold on to him, but this is looking good. Ball State jumped on this week. We still have a huge lead on him. Roy Abrams, we're actually bringing him in to visit next week. Donald Smith, we're catching up. We're 185 behind, but we're actually gaining every week. Yeah, we're gaining plus 170. Next week, we'll be neck and neck with SMU. Matt Roden, no one else is even going for him. We got almost a thousand point lead already. Aaron Pitts, Purdue jumped on the board. They fell back 50. Brian Matthews, it's slow. Plus 20, it's slow, but we're staying there. That's all I'm trying to go for. Ronnie Shaw, I added him on last week. He was low lock. He's another one who could play quarterback. 84 speed, 83 excel, 81 throw power, 82 throw accuracy. 90 carrying, he'd make a pretty decent running back. He'd make a pretty decent wide receiver. So we can play around with him if we lock up a lot of these people. And then just as an insurance policy, we got Kevin Shaw, 77 overall quarterback, 68 speed, 79 excel, so nothing there. 89 throw power, 83 accuracy. Good pocket passer. So if all else fails, I'd rather just throw resources at this. Brian Phillips is a cornerback. I just threw him on this week. It looks like Michigan State is really the only one strongly going after him. I don't think we have a shot, but he was a 74, went up to a 77. So not as interesting as last season, but also not nearly as vital. We're actually better than East Carolina. They're 0-2, we're 1-0, we're number 20. The sliders are down 50-50. No, I think I did 55-45. We're, we're gonna decrease them a little bit. So we should be able to win this game. It is on TV. So I think we need to try and dominate this as much as we can. So the Mean Green take on the Minnesota Vikings. I mean the East Carolina Pirates. Buccaneers? Are they the Pirates? I think they're the Pirates. I want to get on some passing numbers because his stats looked worse than he played last week. Ah, I meant the slide. All right, I'm sorry, Smith. We should have just let you run it from the beginning. Oh, wow. We Wow. Why are we having a tougher time on offense than we versus East Carolina of all teams that we did last week against Texas. Is it because I'm not running the ball? I think it's because I'm not running the ball. Can we get one of these corner routes? Yes, we can. Oh, he stepped out. What is this garbage about punting? Are you kidding me? With the Heisman leader Nick Smith in the backfield? No, we're going to run this one up the gut. We'll get seven yards. Now we only got four, but that's still enough. On is only two of five. I wanted to boost up his stats that I'm making them worse. You know what? We haven't done this. We didn't have to do this last week, actually. I thought we would have to rely on the four verts, but no. Darden with the fancy catch. This is audible three times on the same play. Why not? And Smith in for the touchdown. Was there any doubt? Two yards, come on. It's 
Stadium's definitely looking a lot fuller this year than it was last year. Nope. Oh my god. And this guy can't run for crap. He's just like bouncing off everything, but all of my defenders just fell down. They're trying to play the same way Texas played us last week. Oh my god, those tight ends. Why can't we ever bring them down? Wow, we got burned on that. Are you running to Ricky Prol? We handled Texas last week. We should be able to handle these guys. There's a 70 overall linebacker that wants to come to North Texas. And I feel like I should go after him. Because he's 70, but he's got like a 78 speed. He's already the fastest guy on our defense, I think. Or at least in the front seven. Ooh, Muhammad actually making the goal line tackle this time. Miss. They went for the touchdown. Come on, Ward. You were wide open. We are so 50-50 on screen plays. We either wrap them up in the backfield or they're going to get a first down every time. Hey, I did it. Yeah, there he goes. It's always nice when you make that pass right before he makes the break. Because sometimes it's like, oh, shoot. Well, as soon as he turns, he's going to be double covered. But right there, little spot open right between. Good catch by Harris, too. I am glad I went after him instead of a punter. No, it's okay. I'll just take the rushing touchdown. You would think the plus one to speed or whatever he got after last season wouldn't help that much. But no, it does. Just enough for me to turn that corner. Just one stop. If, especially if we can make it a quick three and out. Get the ball back, put another score on. Just like that. There you go. Don't let a big play. Perfect. Take the time out. Whoa. Thank you for dropping that. Wow. That was the inaccuracy. Go ahead. Double cover. Triple cover Darden even. It doesn't matter. I'll still get it to him. Okay. Ward just needs to not be on my field anymore. Are you guys seriously going to make it this easy for me? Hold on, I'm putting Alberting on a streak. I mean, come on, guys. What do you think you're doing? What play did you think was coming? And he didn't even let me get out of bounds. No. Well, at least we go into halftime with a lead. And I have conservative tackle on right now. Taking the wrong approach. You know what? Let's go aggressive with big hits. We're not tackling them half the time anyways. We might as well try and, like, level them. Blitz got there. Okay, good. That was risky. They did go for the kick. Are they going to make it? No, not even close. All right, I'm going to have to go conservative catching. I'm hoping this is the last year I have to do it. But especially if Ward's going to keep taking the field. Wow. Wow. I read that terribly. No, I got... Get off the block! This is gonna go badly. Juked me out of my shoes. I did not see him. I just saw that we broke off a sack before I even took my full drop back. Oh, he just got pan. He, 
He's out. <laughs> At least he held on to it. Yeah, you celebrate. It, you don't know where you are right now. Ah, uh, no, Ward's got the big run. Oh, he held on to it. Conservative catch is OP. Damon Ward, of all people, held on to that pass. It kind of looks like a blitz. I kind of want to send Alberting on a streak again because it worked last time. That was just a terrible read. Wow. Wow. I'm falling apart, guys. That's it. It's over. East Carolina is my undoing of all teams. I was so hyped for Texas, I'm going to blow it here. They just keep shredding us with these sets. Our linebackers just keep getting matched up on wide receivers. We can't do anything. Because our linebackers are complete trash. I have to go to zone. Like, that's the, that's my only hope. But we suck at zone. I thought they were seriously about to let him have that. Got him. Now that I'm actually shedding some blocks occasionally. Whoa! So we've gotten, we've gotten a single stop against East Carolina. And their offense is supposed to be complete trash. Cut to the outside. Beautiful return. Seems like we worked way harder than we had to. But it's okay. You don't have to take the field again. We're down 11 points entering the fourth quarter. The first three downs were... Or first two downs were great. Sacks both times. And then we allow a 49-yard touchdown. Ward with the clutch catch now. I was going to bench him in the middle of the game. Now he's finally starting to come up with it. Some of these guys are just overly reliant on the uh, conservative tackle. Or conservative catch. If I'm going to run up the middle, I'm going to do the halfback dive here every time. Because it spreads them out. They only put three or four down linemen. As opposed to before, I was running into a goal line defense. I'm pretty sure my play call is just Smith up the middle. Yep. Back to a three-point game. <sighs> this sucks. This sucks. This sucks. There's Noville. Once again, it gives me the wrong defender. Why can't we stop these guys? Oh my god. I can't. I just, I can't. There we go, Weber. That's what we needed. Alright, I'm calling that ball game. We're done. Oh, the defense shut him down, actually. We're still done. We're pinned inside the 10-yard line. I mean, this is a decent-looking drive, I guess. Oh, never mind. He just got leveled. And Smith wide open on the four birds are audible. Oh, I don't know how to do these. Not like that, I'm guessing. I don't think we have enough timeouts to get the ball back. I think that's game. 100%. Yeah, that was game. We just lost to, like, the second worst team in our conference. But again, I threw three picks. All right, so on went 20-37 for 294, a touchdown, but three picks. Rushing, Smith only got the 81 yards. He did get the two touchdowns. We definitely got away from him this game. Darden, 6 for 75. Nick Smith, 5 for 92 and a touchdown. 
So at least that keeps him in the Heisman conversation. Simpson, three for 29. Ward, after two huge drops. Actually, Simpson had three of them. Everyone's just dropping everything. Defensively, Muhammad with eight tackles at the end of it all. Murphy with six, two TFLs. Azugu, Murphy, So, Johnson, all with a sack. I need to stop throwing these picks. So I think it's about time that on goes and rides the pine. Next episode, guys, we're bringing out Mason Fine. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, please be sure to hit like down below. If you want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Hit the bell if you want to get notifications every single time I upload. Leave a comment down below. Let me know if you want one of the recruits named after you or if you want to pick a different name. I will reply to every single one of the comments unless you are the trolliest of trolls. That'll do it for today. I'm Shane. I'm out. Thank you.